Namaste or assalamu alaikum dosto. I'm going somewhere very special today. This restaurant has been around since 1948. It is called Gulab Rasul Chane Wala. And you might be wondering why is it called Gul no Gulam? Did I say Gulab or Gulam in the intro? Gulam Rasul. Hi, I said Gulam, huh? Why is it called Gulam? The Gulam means slave. So slave Rasul. It means he's actually the slave to God. So we're gonna go there and you're gonna see like the difference between chane or chickpeas in India versus Pakistan. There's one huge difference that you're gonna see here in Pakistan. And I'm looking forward to trying this chole, this chane, these chickpeas. It is, yeah, this is Pakistani style. So let's go and let's go and check it out. And this is my friend Fahad. Hello, how he's are a, you guys? He's a very good guy. He, Thank sent so sweets much. with me to India. Uh, when I came to know the sweets are going to India, I had to do this. I always want to spread the message of uh, love, peace and prosperity among both the nations. Mm. And I hope the future for both the nations goes positive. Say about it, say about it, bhai. say about it. And so, yeah, I gave them to my wife and she shared them with all of our family at home. Oh, thank you so much. It has gone from, De they've I'm gone from Delhi to Haryana and they're going to Rajasthan next. She's wow. sharing them with everybody who she's traveling around and wow. meeting, all of our I'm family. Flattered. Flattered. Gone to her I'm neighbors. Flattered. And you know what her neighbors said? <laughs> her neighbors said, oh, I didn't know Pakistanis were so friendly and so nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank that's pretty, thank you, I thought that was pretty funny. Sad, but funny. And uh, so, yeah, yeah, had a nice impact. And how did you like the sweets that came from India? I loved it, uh, especially those laddu. Yeah, the multi I, 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 th I think they tasted really, it was tasty, sweet, and different. Yeah. I, different from Pakistani ones. We gave him multi chor laddu from Gulab, and yeah, these are very, very special laddu, and they're different to the multi chor that you have here in Pakistan. Oh, and bro, how do you like my salva kameez? I got this made in Lahore. What, wow. what do I look like? You look like um, <laughs> you look yeah. like a KPK guy. Like yeah. you look fancy, mashallah. We, we use the word mashallah when, mashallah. when, when a person look graceful, fancy, so <laughs> that you you don't catch a bad eye. Yeah. So people in the street keep stopping and speaking to me in Pashto language. People keep thinking I'm a Pathan. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh man, may Urdu ho and they look at me and they're like, oh. Yeah. He definitely from because when you when you try to speak Urdu, you sound more like a Pashtun guy who is uh, speaking Urdu because yeah. they, their mother language is Pashto, so they try to you know communicate. So yeah, so you yeah. sound more like Pashtun. Sounding and looking like a Pathan. Yep. <laughs> it confuses exactly. so many confuses. people. Exactly. That, that's confusing. I get asked for directions all the time. Like motorcyclists will stop me and ask for directions. Yep. I don't know why, but. I know how to give them directions though, so actually I've been quite successful in helping them reach their destinations. True. I know Lahore that well now. True. So now you have to be a Lahori guy now. You will be... Yeah, no, I'll always be a Haryanvi. Haryanvi? <laughs> <laughs> now, now you have to do things Lahore way. Yeah. Lahori style. I don't think there's much difference between like a Daliwala and a Lahori I Daliwala. But, uh, but I don't I've think. heard a lot like Lahore and Delhi, um, they're almost the same. Yeah, you can call them like sister cities or sister cities. Yep. They're very, very similar. Like Lahore is a mix of Amritsar and Delhi, as far as I can tell. And there's even a Delhi gate here, right? Yeah, because Amritsar is just right next to Wagga border. So I think yeah. that there won't be any language difference. We, we might sound the same, right? Yeah, yeah, the same. They speak Punjabi, you guys speak Punjabi. But I, I'm not sure about Delhi people. Like they do speak li exactly like us. us. I think I think Pakistani Punjabi is a slightly different dialect, but oh. everyone everyone can understand well, each yeah, other. Yeah, because because our accent is like you know when we uh, when uh, when Lahori speaks Punjabi, it's entirely different. Like pain, aaj da din ki But like that's a that's accent, the difference. But I think Amritsari is is almost same because it's nearby. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And then if you look at Delhi, Delhi has signs in like four languages. We have sign in English, Hindi, Urdu, and Punjabi. So mm -hmm. Delhi uses four different languages, man, in this Delhi science. uses four different languages. Yeah, wow. All the languages are there in that. Delhi. Because there's tons of Punjabis in Delhi as well. Tons of Urdu speakers because in Delhi. Because Delhi is in Punjab, right? Delhi is, no, Delhi is surrounded by Uttar Pradesh, uh, Haryana, yeah. and um, next to Haryana is Punjab. 
But but Punjab uh, and Haryana so, used to be one. Exactly. So so, <laughs> so they uh, so won't have any language issues there. No language issues, man. Yeah, so if you nice. go there, you'll feel like you're in Lahore. Oh, nice. I feel nice. like I'm in Delhi, just I on the streets. I still want to travel India. I will one day. Yeah, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, okay. Let's go and eat chickpeas now. Let's get to this restaurant, Gulam Rasul Chanewala. Shallow, let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Yep. Wow, it's so definitely an old part of Lahore. And yeah, like you said, the cycle shops everywhere. Kiss out of bay. We have to go this side. Acha. Down through this little lane. These guys are selling dates. He's on a cycle. Yep. This guy's selling garam gulab jamun. How's my reading? Assalamu alaikum ji. There's a bunch of like restaurants around here. So he's busy. Little dude wants some chickpeas. And let me just show you what they have here. So he's busy making the chickpeas and you can get take eggs with them or you can take mutton piece with your chickpeas as well and just tons of oil. The oil makes it taste really good. Kya haal hai ji? Sab theek hai? Good. And it's kind of this simple. And this is just a very quite small daba for Pakistan. They also have a family site since we are like two guys, so ah. they let us here, sit here. I should explain that actually. So um, in a lot of Pakistani dabas and restaurants, there's two sitting areas. There's one for family and then there's one for single dudes or just dudes who are hanging out. And yeah, there's that separation and I think I guess it's from Muslim culture. Things like that are separated even at weddings, for example. The women are separated on one side and the men are separated on another side of the wedding venue. And it's the same in restaurants. And what we have here, this is called yakini. And it's like a meat broth, like a meat soup. Yeah, it's the stock from the meat. I don't think there's any meat in there, maybe a few little pieces, but it's a soup that you're going to drink first. Oh, yum. That's yeah, good. This yakni is so different, man. I, I wait for winters to drink this yakni. This is from mutton. Yeah. You can taste it's muttons. This is the water from the mutton that they're boiling over there. And so there's just tons of flavor in it. It's good, Should, right? You shouldn't waste this, yeah. It helps uh, from seasonal flu, concussion, or uh, when, when you have like, um, what do you call, runny nose. Yeah. It helps with sickness. Wow. Look at this. Okay, let me show you what we got. So, this is mutton with chickpeas and this is an epic piece of mutton, okay. This is not the bony piece, this is all flesh and it, it's just gigantic. Man, I'm really impressed. It's a gigantic piece of mutton. And then we have naan bread. There is a tandoor right next door where they're baking this bread fresh. Assalamu alaikum ji. Kya hal hai? These guys are making the bread in the tandoor. Yeah. And so this is just a clay oven. And he's just dumping the naan in there. And you can see it baking. And it comes out just like that. He uses these tongs to pull it out. And oh, the next thing. They also serve this. So chickpeas with egg and this is a kind of meat kofta, a uh, meat ball. So this is exactly what you'll get here. And yeah, not pure veg. You can probably get a plate of chickpeas 
but oftentimes they've used stock with the chickpeas. They've used meat stock with the chickpeas, so it's not should shakahari kana. Even when you think something's vegetarian here, it's not because they've used stock. <laughs> Let's try the mutton first. Oh yeah, look at that. Just it just breaks. It just falls off just like that. The mutton is super soft. Like it just it just that just fell off the bone right then. It's that soft. And it's not super spicy, it's it's just lightly spicy. And for the chickpeas. That's why I love chickpeas. I came here for the chickpeas. Now, now try chickpeas with the meat. Yeah. The chickpeas are good. They're far more lightly spiced than India. The main spices that you'll taste are black pepper actually. Black pepper is the main spice you taste here. It's really, really good. You know, sometimes I wish in Pakistan though that I could just get a pure vegetarian meal. Sometimes I wish that. Because meat is very heavy. But this is how they do it here. I think that's something that came from India for yeah. me. Like I became, yeah, I started to love vegetarian food. Because people are, majority in India, people are uh, vegetarian lovers, right? They're no. the vegetarian nation. Over half the population of meat eaters. Wow, I didn't know. But yeah, a lot of people do eat veg only there though. Compared to other countries, they, have, they probably have the most the number of vegetarians. Sometimes I just want vegetarian food, you know what I mean? Okay, one other difference. In Pakistan, there's way more oil on things. The food is way more oily here. Yeah. This is just, just, just a meatball made of mutton, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank so much. Okay, the kofta isn't my favorite. Mm. I don't like the kofta. It's got funny taste. Try it, see what you think. Wait a minute, let me try it. But the chickpeas and the mutton, it's awesome. And as you can see, the restaurant is totally full with people now here for lunch. So actually, this is my favorite meal in India as well. We have um, chole bhature. Chole bhature. And um, it's just chickpeas and big fluffy puris. The chickpeas is totally different. It's, it's the same, right? Because we call it naan chane. Naan chane. Uh, naan chane is the same, right? Okay, we'll go for some egg as well. Pakistanis love eggs. That's one thing I realized there. <laughs> because it's high in protein. Egg and everything, like egg and biryani. For breakfast, you have half fried egg and paratha. Yeah. Now egg with chole. Okay, the egg with chickpea is amazing. Perfect. That's what I would go for probably, rather than the meat versions, yeah. because the meat's so heavy. Just egg and chickpea, zabadast. And so I think you've seen the big main difference between like Pakistani food and Indian vegetarian food. This is not shakahari khana. They add meat to everything in Pakistan. So you've got chickpeas, but they'll add like mutton or egg or something else into it. You've got peely dal, yellow dal, but they'll add in like chicken. So you have you chicken dal and dal. Dal kosht, ha. Huh? <laughs> or you have, there's one, there's another one. So um, in India we have matar paneer. In Pakistan they have like keema matar. Like yes. minced meat and peas and it's so delicious. But that's, I guess, the big difference between India and Pakistani food. And it's kind of like New Zealand where I come from. We add meat in everything as well. Meat-eating nations. Yeah, we're meat-eating nations, both New Zealand and Pakistan. And now we're just going to finish off with the tea. And I'll put the link to this place in the description. You can come here. And I've written a whole blog on my favorite spots to eat in Lahore. So this is going to be one of those spots for you to come and eat if you ever travel to Lahore.